All right, hi there. I'd like to welcome you to Nursing Tutorials with Joel. In this video, we'll be looking at what is termed Resource D system. In one of our videos, we talked about blood grouping. In that video, we said there are four types of blood group. We have the blood group A, the B, A, B, and O. You can check it out for more information about that. Now, instead of just B, you have B positive, you have O negative, you have A negative. That is where the concept of resource D system comes to play. Now, um, we discover that there is a substance that is also located or let's say attached in the red blood cell that is usually found in the red blood cells of individuals and that substance sometimes it is present and sometimes it is absent in some individuals it is present in some individuals it is absent when it is present in a particular individual that person is termed resource positive if it is absent it is, the person is termed resource negative. It's also called resource D. Or some people say D factor, or some call it resource factor. Individual that is B positive, it tells us that that person is blood group B. At the same time, the person has the presence of resource factor. That's the meaning of the B positive. Someone who is O negative, this person has the person is a blood group O person and is negative meaning that there is an absence of resource factor same goes for blood group a person who does not have resource factor the person is termed a negative now why is it important to know your resource factor first of all for identity purpose it's good you know if there is a resource in you resource factor in you or there is an absence of it and um, research has shown that more people are resource positive than being negative. Now, another very, very vital importance of knowing uh, your resource factor is in the aspect of pregnancy for women. Take, for example, a woman who has, who is O negative. In fact, women who are O negative should make sure they carry out the resource factor of their baby while the fetus is still growing it's good to check for the resource of the baby if the woman is O negative and the child is O positive the resource positive there's going to be a conflict there's going to be a conflict and while the woman has a first pregnancy and it delivers a pregnancy Antibodies will be produced. Antibodies will be produced in the body of the woman against the O positive child. But nothing will happen to the first child. However, in the second child, while the second child is growing up, if that child is also O positive, there's going to be a reaction and the child might lose his life. So it's good for the woman to know because when the woman is O negative, in the hospital it is detected and a drug is given, popularly known as Rogam, a drug is given for the woman's second and subsequent child to prevent miscarriage or any form of intrauterine death. So this is the major function of resource D system. So understanding it also helps you to know why your blood group has a positive sign or a negative sign. With this, I've come to the end of resource D system for today. So I'd like you to know your blood group at the same time, know your resource factor sign and it will help you. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe for more uh, educational videos.